had a DJ to a bar full of hardcore Patriots fans during a football game, and something like this might happen. Professor Tom's on 2nd Avenue is just one of the New York City bars that had a DJ spinning during commercials in the recent AFC Championship game, and plans to do so again this weekend during the Super Bowl. Jump out, jump out, jump out, get down. Having a DJ at the bar just makes it like, much easier for everyone to celebrate together and just like dance and all be on the same page and just have a good time. Pete Levin, who co-owns Professor Tom's, had no prior DJ experience when he began to play music during games. But since he started, he's been asked to do gigs outside the bar. Of all the great things about owning a sports bar, this is hands down my favorite part of it. It's just, it's really fun to do it. It's, the atmosphere that it creates is, is very contagious. He sometimes chooses songs with a Boston theme to cater to the bar's many Patriots fans. The crowd that goes to the Royal nearby is not affiliated with any team. During the championship games, the two DJs there were picking songs that just make people happy, as one of them put it. Let's say their favorite team is not doing so well, you can like definitely play some songs that'll just like make them feel better, you know. And if they want to, if they're getting really amped from the gameplay, it's just like a whole other thing where you can raise them to a ne next level of excitement. So it's fun in that sense, yeah. <laughs> Daniel Rieger, a partner in the Royal, says people have come to expect music as part of their going out experience, even during football games. We think it's great. I think it helps with the bottom line, and it also helps uh, keep our customers happy. The Super Bowl presents a challenge. It's the rare football game where many people actually want to hear the commercials and the halftime show. Both the Royal and Professor Tom's plan to DJ as usual during commercial breaks. But the Royals DJ will pause during the halftime show so fans can hear Katy Perry.